मेरा सभी को नमस्कार योर एक्सलेंसी द ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ आसाम एंड द चांसलर ऑफ कृष्णकांत हैंडिक स्टेट ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर जगदीश मुखी जी एस्टिम्ड चीफ गेस्ट प्रोफेसर डी पी अग्रवाल जी फॉर्मर चेयरमैन यूनिवर्सिटी पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन न्यू दिल्ली एस्टिम्ड मेंबर्स ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड एकेडमिक काउंसिल recipients of degrees diplomas and certificates distinguished invited guest respected mrs mridula gupta ji former vice chancellor of our university present vice chancellor of other universities and our faculty members and staff coordinators of study centers members from media ladies and gentlemen i on behalf of the university on behalf of all the stakeholders and my own behalf like to extend you all a very warm welcome to fifth convocation of our university it is indeed a great privilege and honor for us to have your kind and gracious presence at the fifth convocation of krishnakant handic state open university in this convocation we are going to award 9547 degrees diplomas and certificates to our learners let me at the very outset congratulate all the successful learners who are physically present here and the rest who will receive their degrees diplomas and certificates in absentia <coughs> today more than 1000 learners are physically present here out of them 15 will receive their phd degrees and 6 will receive mphil degrees and the rest will receive pg ug and diplomas most interestingly one of the oldest learner is of 75 years old to receive his master degree and other learner is a gold medalist in the sociology who had appeared his examination from central jail guwahati seven of the learners present today are dibang jan this is a moment of great joy and satisfaction in your lives in fact this marks the completion of one stage in your life and another is about to begin i am sure that the education training and knowledge you have acquired will enable you to face the challenges in future with confidence it is also a great day in the lives of your parents with your achievements they will feel very happy satisfied and fulfilled the fifth convocation of the university is being held at a time when the university is poised to make giant strides towards achieving excellence in diverse areas in fact the occasion of convocation evokes a sense of success and fulfillment the university is committed to this is not only an occasion to remember but it is also a cherished moment for all of us this occasion also gives us a reason to look back at what has been achieved by the university and also to look forward our university is one of the state only state open university in the entire northeast it is the 14th, 14th open university of the country it was established by the government of assam by an act of state legislature in the year 2005 it was dedicated and named after a great indologist legendary sanskrit scholar and an illustrious son of the state professor krishnakant handik ji who made pursuit of ex- pursuit of knowledge the main goal of his life i take this opportunity to pay our rich tribute to the great soul on this occasion in fact we are deeply committed towards creating an environment for lifelong learning and knowledge creation with the motto education beyond barriers the university stands for equity justice and democratization of higher education particularly among the disadvantaged and marginalized sections of the society it gives me immense pleasure to recollect that our university was conferred the prestigious award of excellence in open and distance learning by the commonwealth of learning vancouver canada in 2013 for extending the benefit of education in this part of india ensuring quality with equity in providing higher education and lifelong learning has been a fundamental principle in the functioning of the university in fact the vision and mission of our university since its inception is to reach the unreached and to provide quality higher education at an affordable cost 
we are all deeply committed to it and now making no stone unturned to fulfill our vision and mission. Today, open and distance learning is widely accepted for providing freedom, flexibility and equitable access to higher education across the whole world. UGC in 2020 declared that there, are, there is no difference between degrees of open and distance education and conventional degrees. Government of India is now giving due emphasis on the expansion of higher education through ODL and online modes to achieve the 50% gross enrollment ratio by 2035. It may be mentioned here that we have 234 study centers across the state in terms of geographical coverage and locations. We have about 20%, 27% of study centers located at Char areas, 11% in tea garden areas, 7% in border areas, and 2% in hill districts. It is indicative of commitment of the university towards the underprivileged sections of the society in the state. I am also very happy to share with the August gathering that 54% of master's degree learners in our university are female. We could succeed in motivating them to enroll in a master's degree program of the university during the last five years. It is indeed a remarkable achievement for the university in disseminating higher educational opportunity to the women of the state. During COVID-19, uh, pandemic, the university provided care and learning support to the learners by providing e-mentoring and counseling sessions and live classes through different online platforms despite of many issues related to the internet connectivity and poor, uh, poor networking. We address all these issues with a sense of commitment and hard work. Though we are a small and relatively young but our university is committed towards its social responsibility. We are providing free education to jail inmates in the state, divyangajan and transgender learners. Uh, the university also provides learning materials to the visually challenged learners in Braille and audio format free of cost. We are also offering various academic programs through YouTube channels of the university. Very active Community awareness and educational programs are transmitted throughout the year by the university's community radio, Gantaran. The LMS, Learning Management System, of our university, known as eVidya, helps the open university to play a leading role in terms of online content delivery and resource sharing among the educational institutions of the state. Moreover, as part of our social responsibility, we have also adopted five villages for promotion of education among the youth of those villages in the name of Mother Teresa Social Welfare Mission. The National Education Policy 2020 sets the target of 50% gross enrollment ratio of higher education. Our university is now almost prepared in all respect to play a key role in the state to contribute substantially towards improving the existing GR level of 17.3% of the state. We have written to all the vice chancellors of the state and all the principals to encourage their students to join dual degree programs and go for course-based admission in KK Hendrick State Open University. In this academic session, with our planned effort, by using various social media platforms, our admission figure has crossed more than 34,000. This is the first time highest enrollment in the 16 years history of the, our university. The university is going to launch about 43 new academic programs through seven different schools of the university from the next academic session, 2023-24. Uh, all the academic programs that have been proposed so far are in line with NEP 2020. Out of 43 new programs, 14 are master's degree program, three are bachelor's degree programs, four are diploma programs, and 22 are certificate programs. In case these new programs will be approved by UGC in March 2023 meeting, we will have 24 PG programs, 18 EUG programs, 22 certificate programs and 17 diploma programs. 
altogether. With 84 programs, we are preparing to increase our enrollment to 75,000 in the next academic session. Already, the second cycle of admission has been started from January 15 of this year. Efforts are on to increase, ensure that every learner should receive their SLM within two weeks of their admission. We have adopted UG's recommended model framework for UG and PG programs. Over the years, the university has emphasized carrying out quality research in the diverse field. Besides encouraging the presence of junior research fellows, the university has instituted uh, need-based scholarship in the PhD programs to attract good research scholars. A proactive grievance is also constituted to solve all types of grievances of the learners. Over the years, our learners' profile has improved substantially. I am happy to inform that quite a few of our learners have successfully qualified in competitive examination, including the state civil service examinations. We are soon going to install a full-size bronze statue of a noted Indologist Krishnakanth Handikji in the university campus, which will be financed by State Bank of India. Recently, we appointed a part-time doctor for the benefit of our university employees to fulfill fulfill the deficiencies identified by NAC and to obtain UGC 12B recognition, we are to lay foundation stone for the residents of VC, registrar, teachers, officers and non-teaching staff with a guest house and a hostel in the main campus at Rani. Now all formalities are in the process of completion. We are now conscious and concerned about the quality with our growing quantity. So our effort in this direction is smooth and fair conduct of examination. A series of steps have been taken for evaluation and declaration of result in time. All these efforts will rebuild the image of our university in the entire northeastern region and the country as a whole. I am confident that with the cooperation and support of the state government, the vision and the mission of our university is to reach the unreached with quality and quantity and our dream to be one of the largest and the best state open university in the country will be achieved with the passage of time. With the strong determination, dedication and hard work of our young and dynamic pool of academicians, officers and employees, I am sure this university shall emerge as one of the finest open university in the country. It will evolve as a center of excellence in open and distance learning. We are determined to substantially contribute to GR, employment generation, and capacity building of youth in the state. Before winding up, I once again congratulate all the learners of the university who will be awarded degrees today. I wish from the core of my heart that each one of you will sign in your own chosen field and make yourself as well as the university proud in the days to come. Jai Hind. Thank you.